Hey guys, welcome to the first Corsica tutorial. Who is this tutorial for, or who are these series of tutorials for? Um, they are being set up just to help you once you've left the classroom. So uh, I'll just share some examples from memory for you, and um, hopefully this helps you once you've left the class. So first of all, this is how I set up um, there's probably many ways to set up your workflow, but this is how I've set up, uh, how I've chosen to do uh, mine. So I've set up four main screens. Uh, these are just finder windows down here at the bottom. The first finder window is uh, showing you where I'm saving my Corsica um, information that is being generated from Corsica. Um, you're going to uh, be setting this up and we'll do it in the next tutorial, not right now, but you'll hear this familiar uh, sound when you save your data and when your date when your uh, preferences are set up to save your stuff, it will come into your your chosen or selected file folder here here. Uh, the second uh, piece I set up is where I save all of my uh, assets. so, uh, I've chosen to set up uh, a few folders, but the main ones that will always be, should be consistent to all your projects is where you keep your movies, where you keep your pictures, um, and where you have your sound. I've got some animation, uh, animated GIFs in mind, so I've chosen to put an extra folder here uh, for our um, write-ups and our WordPress um, pieces. I've put my screen grabs in here and I've added uh, additional uh, artwork that uh, I've done in um, Photoshop that will facilitate uh, my WordPress and this, this uh, assignment. So the reason I put them here is because you can grab your, your um, assets and pull them into the Corsica uh, main area here. Um, it's a good thing to get your uh, movie set up in a way that you remember where they are. And although it seems trivial, um, you'll realize once you've got a lot of uh, assets, pictures and sounds and movies into Corsica, um, having a good naming convention that helps you remember them, uh, what they are, uh, is, is, will go a long way. So uh, you can see I've got um, Mary, a folder called Mary, Glass, and Church, and Candles, and Intro. So essentially my intro is uh, Z, um, the candles are under uh, C, uh, the church and the glass I've consolidated while in Corsica under one um, grouping called uh, uh, under K. Um, don't ask me why, <laughs> K Cathedral, and Mary is under M. So these were the different areas of that we explored in our project, which was to explore a space. So I've set them up to be um, organized that way. And I can always reach down in here and grab what I need to pull it up into the, the main area of Corsica. So once that is understood and um, you're set up and rolling, uh, we'll now take a look at actually getting started with Corsica. Um, this is just an example of uh, our project or my project for uh, class. Uh, and now the next tutorial will move into actually building out uh, a project.